voila i'm back literally only took a few seconds so yeah so like she has sent me an email and i'm like dude who are you i'm like first of all i already like literally ripped everybody's head off without ever meeting these people because he's in sixth grade now you know first year going to the school and never physically been in it but i literally chewed everybody off and this is the same assistant principal that i already told him listen i don't know what y'all accustomed to but i'm a single mom with mental health issues and i'm raising three kids and i work from home so no unfortunately he is not my only child and no unfortunately he cannot do this on his own because i bet you five bucks if i was to show you his screen right now he's clicking things but if I was to show you screen right now, he's closing whatever it is that he's doing that he has no business doing. And he's actually not doing school. And today's Friday, which where we are, remediation is what's done on Fridays. Um, any work that you miss, any work that, any class, whatever, you're supposed to do it on that Friday. Any work that we miss, or anything that we miss in this test or work, so we have to do it on this day. Okay. So, I was already, like, I'm already depressed. I'm already suicidal. I'm already trying to process all of my emotions without ripping my heads off. I mean, my children's heads off. I'm trying to do this without hurting anybody in any shape or form, including myself. You're going to call me. Bruh. I left her a voicemail where I clearly told her, I am not about to email you back because I am not in the mood. And if you knew anything about this little boy's history, you would not have been bothering me. Because I clearly told y'all, and everybody that pertains to y'all, including IEP and everybody else, to leave me the hell alone. The moment that you guys are go back to school, everything will be Gucci. Until then, this is a waste of time. Because I still have to work. I can't sit next to him and make sure he's actually participating. I just got a long email the other day from his science teacher. An unnecessary long email. Like legit, legit. Detail for detail. Mm -hmm. Woman. What? You could have like summed it all up in three or four sentences. Nah, this chick has like a whole page of the same thing. Just a whole venting thing. So, like, I'm confronting him, and he's like, no, mommy, like, always the ODD kicks in, and it's like, no, 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 I don't got time for this, because I already have to keep my mentals together. I still have to make sure we get out of here. Um, So, like, the assistant principal was like, well, what's the problem? I told her to do her job. Bro, what? But the problem is, and I broke down. The problem is, I'm ready to jump off of somebody's bridge. And you're harassing me about some attendance when I can barely stop having a panic attack throughout the day because of what I am dealing with right now. And you expect me to put an education that he's not even learning anyways because he needs to have a one-on-one -on -one next to him. A priority over my sanities that I still have to raise these kids with? No. I am sorry. Not happening. Call whoever you need to call. Because the one thing about Lynette, she will stand up for herself. And she will stand up for her kids. And if I'm telling you, you don't know how to deal with my household because of my situation, that means back off. Because if my kids lose a mom because you decided to come pushing me over something that are we not going through a pandemic? Isn't everybody dealing with something? So leave me and mine the hell alone. Especially since they're going back to school March 8th. I'm just waiting for March 8th to come. Get out the door, boo. You're going to school for them four days. Because I think Friday is still remediation at home, learning, whatever. You're getting out the door. And that should... alleviate some of um sorry y'all there was a, a roach calling towards Biva's feet and I wanted to make sure I could reach her they didn't reach Biva oh um 
I'm not even paying attention to you. What was I saying? Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Because at the end of the day, like, every time, I hope, uh, like, when I say I'm trying to stop myself from jumping off somebody's bridge, I literally am. Last night, when I'm doing the podcast, I was doing the podcast to keep me occupied and busy because the only thing that was running through my mind is getting up and just leaving, not looking back. And when I say that, I don't mean leaving my kids. I mean leaving because I can't take this situation anymore. This, this that I'm, 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 I'm living with. Like, I turned my flash, I la turned on my flashlight last night, and like the amount of baby roaches on this rug. I sent it to Naja, to the baby's godmother. I sent it to Naja. And I was like, look, cuz, look, 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 look what I'm, my view is. Above my closet door, there was like seven of them. On the wall behind me, which if I sleep closer to that part, but we're not attached to the wall because the bed doesn't touch the wall, there was like four or six sleeping on there. Behind the TV, oh my God. And I'm over here trying not to have a panic attack. And I'm over here trying not to get up and say, okay, now, let's go. Because <laughs> we don't know where we're going to sleep. Like, I ain't got no money to go nowhere and do anything. So, like, we got to stay here. We have no choice. And I'm still waiting to hear back from the apartment. Like, finding a house to rent, I don't feel like it's going to be an option. Um, They're taking forever to respond back. And I don't really have the application fee for, because um, since Bella is 18, we have to pay for her and for me, which I also feel like is not fair. So I know I wasn't trying to say where we were, but whatever. I don't care anymore. So um, I literally don't care anymore, but it's because I'm already like over a lot of stuff. So Virginia, please get it together. Like not just United States in general, please get it together. Like I understand that they are 12 age wise and 18 age wise. I get that, I get it. But not everybody that is their age is actually their age. And then especially more if they have other stuff going on. So I gotta pay every single time because she's 18, but SSI said she has a forever disability. You feel me? And she's forever going to be getting SSI. She's been getting it since she's six. And she's forever going to be getting it. So I feel like there should be a law when in those type of scenarios, you shouldn't have to pay for an application fee because they're not an adult, technically. Technically, yes, they are, but they're not. There's a, there's a clause in there. like the opposite of what I was when I was pregnant because I was angry and depressed and stressed and cried and emotional and yeah and she's like the, well no let me stop the emotional part she does have but anyways um please get it together you guys like it's already hard enough that there's no consideration for parents who have kids with needs like we have to work to survive as well there really aren't childcare that are specialized in dealing with kids, at least that are like mine. No, there's not. And that's another thing. Like everybody just expects you to put your kid in a home or in a detention home or in this or in that. Like, why can't I just be a mom to my kid? And there'd be resources that can assist. Why must I have to put my kid locked up and medicated? Why? They're not animals. Like, why? They're people. They have feelings and emotions. And these are things I'm trying to bring awareness to, but 
it's like I am not connecting with anybody who's watching my videos or listening to the podcast on the Instagram or on the Facebook. I literally need your opinion. Where am I going wrong? I mean, I know my my life is boring, but I am really struggling and I want to give the advice that I have and create that support group, but I feel like none of my engagements are actually engaging anybody. I mean, you guys are watching, okay? Like, when I re look at the stats, like, everybody's watching, that's cool, but there's no likes, there's no, like, new subscribers on Rally. I got 22 now. Oh my god, 22 subscribers. Mm, 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 mm. 22 subscribers. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, I'm too tired for this. But yeah. Those are some things I want to discuss. But like, yeah, last night I did the podcast because I had to keep myself from not getting up and leaving. Um, which was kind of cool because I called it a late night dumping session. So like, I was just brain dumping. Anything that was on my brain, I was just like basically just talking. That's it. Wait, did I put music to my last episode? Dun, dun, dun. That's a good question. Anyways, I do hope y'all have a nice day. I just didn't want to <clears throat> not share another video. And please do remember, it is definitely okay to not be okay. We are human. We do have emotions. We're not perfect. But we, we try. We try hard. Um... I would definitely love to be able to hear from you guys if there's anything you want to know. Questions, suggestions, ideas, whatever. Shoot me an email. I've been giving y'all the wrong email this whole entire time. I do apologize for that. I never realized that I did a typo. Scattered brains are not good. But I didn't realize I did a typo and... I had to go create it again, and I did a typo on that one, and I had to go create it again, and then Gmail was like, Beep. pause. Life as a single parent with mental illness is way too long. So I had to shorten it down to life as a parent with mental illness, which has me debating on switching up, like, and just calling everything life as a parent with mental illness. I'm not sure because I kind of feel like the single factor plays a huge part since I don't have another half to support me. Like, oh, you have to come in here. I'm clocked in 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. No vacation days. No timeouts. I should probably call HR, right? <laughs> Ton of money to raise. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> But anyways, again, the correct email is life as a parent with mental illness. I do apologize for the mix-up and the spelling. If you guys do try to send an email, which I don't, um, but that is the correct email. Also, if you do go to the Instagram, for some reason, YouTube is not letting me pull it up, like, attach it. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like it's weird because I'm overtired and I was trying to do this like 2 in the morning. But I do have uh, one of the link trees that has all the social networks popped up. You can find that on the Facebook page, Life with a Single Parent with Mental Illness. You can also find it on the IG page. Um, so, um, single Parent with Mental Illness. Sorry, I had to really think about that. Um, you can also find it on the podcast as well. Um, and what else? I might even add to my personal. Well, no, because my FB is non searchable, supposedly. <sighs> it's not gonna work. But, um, I'll figure it out just probably when I get a little more energy because I'm just super tired and I have to get back to work. I haven't worked in three weeks, I have to get back to work. Um, but I hope y'all have a good day. I'll try to see if I can post another video. I do like doing the videos, don't get me wrong. <coughs> I just feel like the podcast, I could just, you know, put the phone down and just bye. 
but I'm not 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 I'm not I'm not down for the count just yet YouTube sorry I had to really get out the words I wanted to say um I am collabing with this um <coughs> small little company called Spotlight <coughs> and I do have a ring light coming I think it arrives tomorrow and it has the stand so I can actually do better videos with better lighting and I don't have to hold you guys so that would be a heck of a lot better um I wish I could just get the the, cam the little camera that I need because I will have to use my phone since I've had people say that the audio goes in and out and I did notice in the last video the audio did go in and out so I was kind of hoping to be able to buy the camera but I don't have the financial means if um I'm going to throw it out there. Whoever catches it, catches it. And if nobody catches it, then oh well, nobody catches it. Please look up for the GoFundMe page that my daughter did create. We are trying to get out of here. Um, But it's really, really, honestly speaking, getting really bad for all of us. Right, Viva? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something about that? Sorry for my hair. Anyway, you look cute. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. But you look cute, though, boo. That's all that matters, okay? No matter what, you will always look cute. Look at who your mama is. Don't ever knock that crown down, boo. Better fix it. I try to pick the crown on her head, and she tries to throw it away. Back to the original <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Like always. Not hilarious. Okay, but what was the conversation again? Oh, the reason why the GoFundMe page was created, the reason why we will not be able to last much longer here, the reason why we're asking for the donations. Oh, I started the GoFundMe page because mom's anxiety and panic attacks are just getting worse and worse, and the roaches are unbearable. I'm starting to get anxiety and panic. I'm going to start doing the same thing she's doing soon but i'm trying not to because i have to be the one to since she can't leave her room to do everything else and it's not gonna help because the mom don't be starving and, and yeah then, then find some skeletons in these beds yeah 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 so i started it to help mom out so i really appreciate it if you guys donated if not like subscribe the page because i would just subscribe like like and subscribe like show some love if you can't, right? if you can't donate do that yeah. actually she she just brought up a good point if you guys can't donate that's fine like i trust me i understand i don't have coins which is why i have to ask for coins right now like trust me i i don't really like asking people for anything I always have to put the tail between my legs and like it just it, it haunts me and stresses me out and I hate it but do you think he's almost done putting the mail he just started oh lord so turn off the heater because I'm not going to shower until we figure out if it came in the mail or not Okay. and the heater is starting to suffocate me because of these panic anxiety attacks, I literally, I know this light bill is going to be ridiculous. The AC goes on and off. The heater goes on and off because sometimes I feel like I'm suffocating. Sorry, my stomach is stretching. This is one of the side effects ever since I did the gastric sleep. Whenever it's stretching, I just get a bounce of hiccups. I don't get why it's stretching because the only thing that's in it is coffee, but whatever. To each its own. My stomach knows what it's doing. It's its job, so I'm just going to let it rock. I don't get paid for it, so I'm not about to take this pants. You feel me? Um, if y'all could hear me, that would be great, but I don't know, because I think my kids kind of forgot that I was vlogging. Great, but I wasn't. Sorry. No. No consideration, yo. You know when the baby wants to play when you play? Oh, no consideration. That's that autistic part. 
does not really realize that there's a time and a place for everything. That's why sometimes I can't get mad. I really feel like I can't breathe. Yes, I'm gonna go pee Okay, sis, you'll take your pee pee, love. Okay. Now nah, I feel like I could breathe. Sorry, y'all. Um, ever since these panic attacks and anxiety attacks have been getting more common and more back to back, that's what ends up happening where, like, I feel like my asthma just gets triggered in 2.2 seconds. And then I can't get no air in. And I want to start hyperventilating because I can't breathe. But I'm afraid to hyperventilate because of my asthma. God forbid it triggers an asthma attack. We no longer have our asthma machine anymore. I don't have any more liquid albuterol. And that's the only quickest thing that will actually get me back to being able to breathe. The pump doesn't really do much of anything for me. Um, so I had to, I have to, whenever I'm feeling it, I have to like hurry up and and nip it in the butt if I can because again single mom of three I don't want to freak her out and um you know so like I just try to be real cautious bless you you're welcome but um yeah so like if you guys can't donate that's cool um it's just we really don't have the ability to just leave and I need that ability to just go. Like, I don't care if the apartment's not going to be ready for, like, another two weeks. I really need to, like, go to an extended stay and just get out of here and get away from everything that's going on here. We have so many plans and so many ideas, and we're trying to get started with everything, but I'm afraid to open anything, anything because and I everything. don't want it to get destroyed. I don't. Like, that's one of the few things that will be coming with me. But everything else will most likely be staying because I can't afford to bring any roaches where we're going. Like, I cannot go through this again. And then what's making it harder for us to even find a place besides the application fee is the fact that after reading, like, after everything that I'm going through right now, oh, baby, trust me when I tell you. I am sitting there and I am searching for those complexes and every platform there is and I am reading oh and I am reading the reviews and every platform that there is because I am not putting myself in this situation again not at all so like that's what's also making it difficult because everywhere that we're looking half of these places the most recent comments are they're infested like what is up with down here and being infested with roaches like what the heck like are you serious i feel like it's just a whole nother new york but in a different format mom you just dropped sorry. my coffee great she's so sorry though oh because she's so sorry you're supposed to be okay um, i'm not supposed to be upset i guess are you okay it's a girl thing it's a girl thing yeah so you do have your cycle i think so because it hurts Guys, you do have another age right here. What the fine colors? What? Is that one big roach right there or more than one? More than one. They're trying to get in position. Nah, nah, nah. Get the back. Nah, 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 nah. Don't let them get in. It's getting in. Just can't catch a break. I need out of here.
Thank you, but have you seen my shirt? Your <laughs> what? No. no. Can you please do what you're supposed to do unless you're really waiting for to be finished? I'm waiting for I'm really waiting for it. Oh. Uh, um I was saying something and I feel like I'm dragging this closure and I'm not supposed to. But everything else on my walls are like really getting to me and it's like my anxiety and my panic senses them before because I have that whole panic. That thing was not there. I happen to look and boom, there it is. Like, they won't leave me alone. They just won't let me be great. I'm just trying to be great. But I'm not trying to be great just to be great. I'm trying to be great for my kids. Can I please just be great? But anyways, so if you can... I would greatly appreciate it. And listen, I don't care if you put a dollar. If everybody puts a dollar with the amount of people in this world, I'd be a billionaire. But I ain't trying to be nobody's billionaire. I'm just trying to get out of here to buy me some time until the apartment is, is, is available. Like I said, I'm breaking this lease. I just can't do this anymore. I want to be a mom again, and I can't be a mom living here. I'm confined in my room. I gotta tell my kids to come to me so that I can discipline them. And if I didn't have the type of kids that I had, they'd be out the door doing whatever they wanted to do because I can't go out this door. You feel what I'm saying? But I raised some very good kids. Um. So yeah, so like, if you can't donate, that's cool. Like, subscribe, and share, and comment. That's another way you can support us. By liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting, you're investing into our future coins, our ability to become actual YouTubers, our ability to become great, our ability to become higher and an algorithm beautiful for um YouTube. So like that's another way you can support. You don't want to put anything on the GoFundMe. Fine, you don't have to. And not at all. If you rather send something to like Cash App, cool. You can do that as well. It is Goldie, G-O-L-D-Y, zero two. That's the cash app. If you don't care about me and don't want to send it to me, you can also send it to Benvaz Cash App. Um, I think it's Benvaz Love 2002, but I'm kind of waiting for you to open your phone. Cash sign, Beva Love 2002. Yeah, the cash app. Everybody knows that's cash sign in front of. Don't mind her, y'all. So, Beva Love 2002. That's her cash app. Cool, whatever. Like, if y'all don't want to send, you know, like, I do have a cousin that's sending PayPal. Um, She doesn't trust the GoFundMe platform. So, she's actually going to be sending us PayPal. My sister just actually sent me some money too, which I didn't expect, but she's, cause she's going through some stuff. And um, I really didn't actually expect to send a couple of dollars, um, which I've left there because I really need to get out of here. Like I, she zelled it to me, so I just like left it in my account. I'm um, trying to build it up because I'm really trying to get out of here. Like my goal, all jokes aside, is if I don't have to pay this a thousand and fifty one dollars for March to live with roaches. And on our side, so I'm gonna go check. Okay. To live with roaches, then boo, I'm not going to. I'd rather okay. go pay to stay and extend this day until the other apartment is ready than to live here. Like, legit, legit, all jokes aside, most definitely. But, I don't know. Something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. Um, I'm getting back into my positive affirmations. I feel like God has spoken a lot to me and um, a lot of my family, spiritual family has spoken a lot to me as well. And I'm kind of ready to just get it together. But I've come to the realization that all of my things will not be accomplished until I am out of this situation. So I'm not going to no longer put a whole bunch of energy into it because it's not gonna bloom and grow until all of the negativity that I am currently dealing with is out of my system.
plug it in? No. Why are you bringing that over here? Why are you bringing that over here? But why are you bringing that over here, baby? Okay. So, like, subscribe, share, comment. We would definitely appreciate it. Again, don't feel bad if you can drop a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four, five, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, like, subscribe, share, and comment. That's a whole nother way you can actually give us support. Um, the long, you know... Yeah, so we'll just touch bases on everything else later because I feel like I'm rambling on. You guys are just not going to listen to me because I personally feel like you guys don't listen to me. Yo, I hate this crack right here. And that I hate this one. So full disclosure, which this has nothing to do with this video, but I'm only telling y'all because that's the whole reason why every single time I talk, I'm looking at my teeth because I don't want it to show. See? So I do have gingivitis and in Connecticut, they had switched up the whole like dental thing for adults before we moved down here, obviously. And for like a good four or five years, I really wasn't able to go to the dentist because they would not clean my teeth because I have to divide this. And they, they say I need deep cleaning. Deep cleaning was from anywhere between $500 to $800. And I had to pay that out of pocket because the state didn't cover it with the dental plan. Well, if I had that much money, and I know my teeth are important, don't get me wrong. But if I had that much money, I would have did it, but I couldn't. And then I had to get a crown. I don't know, I'm missing that tooth back there, but I had to get a crown and never happened because I was supposed to pay out of pocket for that as well. Like, I'm a single mom working part time. How do y'all expect? And Connecticut is expensive and much more Stanford where we was at because they bougie as heck. Like, um, I couldn't get it. So, after we came down here and I started going through everything else and the depression really started hitting bad, but when we stayed at the other person's house who was really infested, which is where my phobia came from, I couldn't brush my teeth there. Um, barely take a shower, I could barely use the bathroom. Um, my teeth started decaying more, and then. Is that it, boo, boo Yeah. Okay. I don't know if she was in the camera or not. Sorry, y'all. Until I can get my actual camera camera where I can see them. Oh, hey. I'm not going to know. But I don't have the money for it. So, slowly but surely, I can invest. Uh, where is it? I was saying something. And I don't remember now. Sorry, I had a baby roll to my fucking shoulder. Cause, all right, I'm ending the video. Just like, subscribe, share, and comment. Cause I just feel like right now that whole positivity no. that I just had just literally just left me in 2.2 seconds when the sucker no. was on my shoulder. And like right now, I just. Have a blessed day. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please show us that you support us.